Hey, this is Buzz with episode number 28 of Airwaves, and I've got a new addition to my antenna farm. It's an MFJ dual band, 2 and 6 meter, 5 eighths wave, super gain antenna. And I've got all the details up next on Airwaves. Welcome back to episode 28 of Airwaves, where we're reviewing or previewing the MFJ 5 8 wave antenna. It's a 6 meter and 2 meter dual band antenna. And uh, according to MFJ and their uh, specs on this antenna, it gives twice the omnidirectional gain of a single 5 8 wave antenna. MFJ's stacked 5 8 wave radiators give you more than twice the omnidirectional gain of a single 5 8 wave radiator. Uh, it has a wide 10 megahertz 2 to 1 SWR bandwidth, excellent ferrite choke ballon feed line decoupling, uh, shut choke for bleeding off unwanted static. It's uh, made of strong lightweight aluminum, it works as an excellent 6 meter full half wave center fed antenna you can actually get two of these antennas and uh, mount them together and they have uh, an adapter uh, that accomplishes that but i will not be uh, reviewing that today don't have that fully assembled simply attach the radiators no tuning is required it mounts vertically for fm packet or just regular fm uh, modulation or horizontally for single sideband Installs with a single U-bolt, which is included. You see it there on the left. And it will attach to any one to one and a half inch mast or tower leg. Weighs in at one and a half pounds with two 47 inch radiators and a 23 inch boom. The mast is not included. And I measured it uh, from the tip of one radiator to the other it was 96 inches so uh, just looking at the components here here's the the u-bolt to mount it to the mast here's your so 239 uh, connector and then over there on the right you see where the two radiators come into uh, the base part of the antenna so what i'm going to do is turn it over and show you what it looks like on the other side Okay, here we are. We've got the uh, antenna turned over, and you see there on the left uh, the U-bolt, and on the right again uh, where the radiators come into the base. And I uh, will tell you that uh, when this came in the box, it was all assembled except attaching the two radiators. And in a little bit here, I'll zoom in close on that and show you how those attach to the base. Now we'll tell you that the antenna did not come with any kind of directions and so I uh, went online and uh, MFJ had a downloadable uh, user's manual which I downloaded and in the description of assembling it refers to a figure one. Well there is no figure one in the uh, manual that I downloaded so I called MFJ and spoke to a technician there and uh, he looked for and found the missing diagram for me and he emailed it to me. So you're, you're probably going to have to contact MFJ unless you've assembled something like this before. And it is uh, a little bit tricky and I'm going to zoom in there uh, where the radials come into the base to show you what I'm talking about. Here we are zoomed in to the uh, base where the two radiators come together. Now when it comes, like I say, it came um, basically in four parts. You had the base right here and you had the U-bolt at the end of the base and then you had the two uh, radials. So everything was assembled except for the two radials were not inserted into these uh, insulators here. And what was in place of those was this bolt. So this bolt went through the insulator and was threaded into this nut right here. So what you had to do was unscrew this bolt and hold on to the insulator, keep this all together, 
and you're going to reuse this nut right here. So you slide your radiator in and it has uh, what they call a uh, flanged nut here. This nut has a little lip on it. That lip needs to face towards the insulator because that kind of centers that insulator, keeps it in place. And then you reuse this nut here and you screw it on to the insulator uh, like you see here. And of course you do the same thing for the other side. I've not used one of these antennas before. This is all uh, new to me. You know the reviews are, are pretty good on this antenna. The one thing that did kind of concern me is you see your, your feed wires here uh, which run on down to your SO239. Those are exposed and I'm kind of concerned that there might be some oxidation take place over time there. So I'm thinking about either spraying these with maybe a silicone spray or maybe even paint them uh, with some kind of enamel uh, paint just to uh, prevent oxidation in this area. And maybe uh, some of you have got some experience with something sim similar to this. If you do, I'd appreciate it if you'd uh, post it down below and share it with everybody. But uh, like I say, once I had the directions, uh, it made sense what I read about reusing the nuts here and uh, this whole assembly. But once it's in there, it seems to be in there good. Like I say, it is uh, aluminum, so there shouldn't be any uh, rusting on the unit. And again, it's a 2 and 6 meter dual band 5 8 wave dipole. And you might be thinking, Buzz, uh, why did you get a 2 and a 6 meter dipole? Well, it's because I bought one of these. TYT TH9800. And you see all the frequencies there. Quad band transceiver. So um, I especially wanted a radio that had six meters in it and looking online uh, I couldn't find really any six meter radios um, that were in a price range that I thought was reasonable and most of the ones that you did find were, were older used models and I came across this and this is actually uh, it looks to me like a clone of the Yezu 8900. But um, I've got this radio and um, going through it now trying to figure it all out. And I'm going to need to mount uh, this dipole. And I'm going to mount it on the same pole that uh, I have my FM broadcast antenna mounted on and my 80 meter uh, dipole, wire dipole antenna. So this will be the third antenna mounted to that mass pole but it's uh, really my only option at this time I hope uh, down the road sometime to actually put up a tower and uh, be able to get all these antennas on a good solid base but uh, we'll see what happens we'll get that up on the uh, mass pole add it to the antenna farm and uh, then when I get comfortable with the TH9800 I'll uh, of course do a review on it and then uh, I'm sure another video uh, using it with the MFJ antenna here. So this is Buzz. This has been episode number 28. Uh, I hope that you'll subscribe, share, and again like the video. And uh, it'll be coming up soon. Like I say, more videos concerning the TH9800 and the use uh, with this MFJ antenna. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the dial.